Welcome to Lavanya's Computer Classes. In this video, I will explain Compiler Design JNTH R18 CSE32 Compiler Design Short and Long Important Questions Unit Wise. First, I will explain short answers questions unit wise. Then I will go for long answer questions, as cited question. So this is the unit one short answer questions. First question is what is a compiler? Just definition of a compiler. Second one is explain the structure of a compiler. Third one is define lexical analysis. Give any three roles of lexical analyzer. Important question. Next, to define regular expression with an example. Define finite automata. Just definition. Next one is write the steps to design of a lexical analyzer generator. Important question. Next one is define DFA and do define NFA definitions next to define token next how to recognize a token these are the short answer questions in unit 1 then I'll go for short answer questions in unit 2 first I'll explain short answer question then I'll go for long answer questions unit 2 short answer questions are what is context free grammar give you an example important question next one is define parsing Different types of parsing. What is parsing? Explain the different types of parsing. Next one is difference between top down and bottom of parsing. Second and third questions are almost all same. Because in the different types of parsing means how to explain top down and bottom up. Otherwise they are asking what is the differences between top down and bottom up parsings. Next one is define leftmost and rightmost derivations. Explain the problems faced in parsing. Explain LL1 grammar. Next one is define and differentiate SLR, LALR, CLR. So these are the short answer questions in unit 2, compiler design. Then unit 3 questions are define SDD, syntax directed definition. Second question is what is STD, syntax directed translation. Or they are asking difference between SDD and SDT. Whatever it is, explain the concept, learn concept of these two. Next one is mention the applications of SDT. Next, difference between S attribute definition and L attribute definition. Next question, sir. Define syntax free. Define syntax trees. Explain the variance of syntax trees. What is type checking? Explain about three address code. Important question. What is control flow? Explain about switch statement with example. Already we know these concepts. Next one is explain the concept of intermediate code for procedures. These are the short answer questions. Important questions in compiler design. I already explained so many videos. There is no like short answers and long answer questions. We have to read the concept, for example, syntax tree. If we learn the concept, they are asking either definition or variance or everything is asking the long answer question also depends upon the question, depends upon the marks. We have to elaborate the answer. Just define syntax tree. For example, it is a short answer question, just write definition only. Same thing we are asking in the SI type question, define syntax tree. Means we have to write syntax tree, what is syntax tree, where we are using, what is the different types of syntax tree, examples, everything you have to write it, okay. Next one is unit 4 important questions are, what is garbage collection, how to access the non-local data on the stack, explain the concept of heap management, explain the concepts of flow graph, basic block, otherwise define flow graph, define basic block, examples. Next one is register allocation and assignment methods. Explain what is register allocation, how to allocating the registers, everything. Next one is what is dynamic programming? How to generate the code for dynamic programming? These are the important questions in unit 4. And unit 5 questions are what is data flow analysis? Explain loops in flow graphs. What is flow graph? What is the loops in flow graphs? Difference between local optimization and global optimization and what is optimization here? What is optimization? What are the different types of optimizations? What is the differences between these two? And explain principal sources. So these all are the important questions, short answer important questions. Now we will go for 
long answer questions unit wise. In the unit 1, similarly explain structure of a compiler and also explain phases of a compiler. So, what is compiler? What is the structure of a compiler? What is the different phases of a compiler? Important question. Next, definitions. Similarly, same. These are everything defined compiler, interpreter, assembler, token, legs in pattern. Same thing they are asking. Define compiler, short answer question. Define interpreter is also one more short answer question. What is assembler? What is token? Everything is coming like a short answer questions. Define DFA. Convert the regular expression A plus B into A into A plus B to DFA directly. Here, define DFA conversions with all examples. Here, I specified only one example. Like this, we can prepare for any example. That means you have to learn the concept how to convert the regular expression to DFA. That is the main concept. Next one is what is legs tool? Explain with its specifications. Explain recognition of tokens. Important question. Explain the role of lexical analyzer with its issues. These are the important questions in unit 1. Next, unit 2 questions are explain contest free grammar CFJ. In the short answer question also I explain define CSG. CFG. So, that is a short answer question. Next, explain syntax, error handling and error recovery strategies. These are the important questions in unit 2 and some more are. What is ambiguity? Explain elimination of ambiguity for following grammar. A to A, B, A. Capital A to small A. Small, capital B to small B. Not only these examples. These small examples you can write. Learn the concept for writing any example. Next, what is parser? Explain top down and bottom up parsers. Next, prepare LL, SLR, CLR and contrast between these three. Next, unit three questions are. What is syntax directed definitions? Explain with examples. These all are old paper questions. Or that means these questions are already came in the JNTU H old previous paper. So concentrate more on these questions. Next, what is DAG? Construct DAG for the following expressions. A plus D into B minus C plus B minus C into D. Already explain same thing. Here A not D. Same thing. Once we learn this concept, we are able to write for any example. Next, explain S attribute and L attribute SDT. Define three address code with its implementations. What is intermediate code generator? Explain its types. What is a type checking? Explain control flow statements. These are the unit three important questions. Then unit four, runtime environments code generation. Explain storage allocation. What is garbage collection? Explain basic block with examples. Explain P4 optimization. What is register allocation? Explain flow graph. Explain nesting depth. If you see these questions, in the short answer questions also explain same thing. But only difference is here explain storage allocation. If it is short answer question, just write concept only. If it is long answer question, you have to write full answer. What is storage allocation? How to allocating? Any different methods are there? Write all the methods. Okay. Like that, we can elaborate the answers. Last unit for important questions are what is optimization? Explain with categories. Explain code optimization techniques. What is data flow analysis with properties? Explain partial redundancy elimination. Define loops in flow graphs. What is partial order? So, these all are the SI type questions in compiler design. Read all these questions. Don't leave any question what I said in this video. Read all the questions. Then we are easily get 85% marks. Okay. Don't leave any question. Share it to your friends. Take the pics and read carefully. Still 8 more days are there for your exams. So, thank you for watching my video. Share it to your friends. Subscribe my channel. Thank you.